In this video tutorial, we will continue our overview of the session editor and discuss the game clock. SweetCG Multisport Scoreboard offers a comprehensive game clock. The clock can count up or down and can be displayed in hours, minutes, seconds format or hours as minutes. If the clock is configured to count down, the option is available to display the clock in one tenth of a second increments when the clock is under one minute. Be advised that some third-party character generators will have a difficult time displaying the clock when it updates that frequently. Let's take a look at how the clock functions when it counts up. This tutorial template is designed for soccer in a clock counting up configuration. See how each period has fields for a clock value? The fields allow for hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's temporarily change these values to tens and fives for the minutes. Let's leave the session editor and see how these clock values work together. When we start the clock, it begins counting up from zero. If we reset the clock, it will return to zero and enter a stopped state. Let's start the clock again and use the adjustment buttons to change the clock's value. We will advance to just under 10 minutes. Now, when the clock reaches 10 minutes, it will automatically stop. Now let's advance to the next half. The clock will remain at 10 minutes. Let's start the clock, then click reset. The clock will reset to 10 minutes and enter a stopped state. If we advance the clock to just under 20 minutes and then start the clock, the clock will stop at 20. But if we add extra minutes, the clock will resume past the regulation length and stop when it reaches the regulation time plus the extra minutes. Lastly, if we advance to the next period, the extra minutes will revert to zero and the clock will reset to the sum of the first two period clocks. Let's return to the session editor. Let's change the current period back to 1 and change the clock to count down. We will also check the 1 tenth second checkbox. Now if we close the session editor, we see that the extra minutes controls are disabled and the clock has reset to 10 minutes. If we start the clock and reset it, it will return to 10 minutes and enter a stopped state. If we advance the clock down to one minute and play it, we see the last minute of the clock advance in one tenth second increments and stop at zero. When we advance to the next period, the clock will reset to the clock value found in the line status table for the new period, so we're ready to start it up when the game resumes. This concludes the sixth part of our video tutorial series on session and template files. In the next video, we will discuss the session editor's macro functions.